Who is Benjamin Franklin? What do you get when you mix a kite and a key with a thunderstorm? Well, if you were inventor and founding father Benjamin Franklin, you would have learned more about the nature of lightning and electricity. Right now, we are going to learn more about Benjamin Franklin and his life as a person, a politician, and an inventor. Let's begin. Benjamin Franklin was born in Boston, Massachusetts in the year 1706. He was the 15th child of 17 children. Benjamin stopped going to school when he was 10 years old, but spent the rest of his life learning on his own. By the age of 12, Benjamin was an apprentice to his brother, who was a printer. He wanted to learn how to be a printer too. Here is an interesting fact. Benjamin's brother printed a newspaper called The Current. And as a teenager, Benjamin secretly wrote letters about current events that he submitted to the newspaper under the fake name or pseudonym of Mrs. Silence Do Good. At age 17, Benjamin ran away to Philadelphia. And by age 23, he was running his own newspaper called the Pennsylvania Gazette. This newspaper became one of the most successful newspapers in the 13 colonies. Here is another interesting fact. Benjamin Franklin was the first person to use maps and publish editorial cartoons in a newspaper. In 1730, he established a common law marriage with Deborah Reed. He had three children, William, Francis, and Sarah. In 1732, Benjamin started publishing Poor Richard's Almanac, another newspaper that shared weather reports, recipes, predictions, and memorable sayings called aphorisms. Have you ever heard the saying, a penny saved is a penny earned? What about Actions speak louder than words. Those are both examples of aphorisms. Benjamin published the newspaper for 25 years before retiring from publishing. Benjamin Franklin was also one of the United States' founding fathers and was one of the five men involved in drafting the Declaration of Independence. He was also Philadelphia's representative to the Second Continental Congress. Here is an interesting fact. Benjamin Franklin is the only American who signed all four major documents involved in the founding of the United States. These documents are the Declaration of Independence, a Treaty of Alliance with France, the Treaty of Paris, and the Constitution of the United States. He was also an ambassador and diplomat to France for the colonies and convinced the French to aid them in their quest for independence from Great Britain. And even though he was in his 70s, he became something of a fashion icon in France. Women in Paris copied his hats using oversized wigs. Ooh la la! But that is not all. Benjamin Franklin was also an inventor. Remember when we mentioned Benjamin Franklin's electricity experiment? Here is how it worked. During a thunderstorm, Benjamin made a simple kite and attached a wire to the top of it to act as a lightning rod. He attached a hemp string to the bottom of the kite and attached a silk string to the hemp string. Benjamin used two types of string for a very specific reason. He hoped that the hemp string, once it got wet from the rain, would conduct an electrical charge. The silk string would be kept dry as it was held by Benjamin as he was sheltered from the rain. Last but not least was the metal key. He attached the metal key to the hemp string and then got the kite up into the air. Once the kite was in the air, he watched the string and noticed that the loose fibers of the hemp string were stiff and standing straight out from the string. 
When Benjamin moved his finger near the key, he felt a spark. From this result, he realized that lightning carries an electrical charge. Cool, right? As an inventor, Benjamin Franklin invented bifocal lenses for glasses, swim fins, the Franklin stove, odometer, library ladder, glass harmonica, and the first medical catheter. Other accomplishments include starting the first public library in the U.S. and the first fire station in Pennsylvania, as well as reorganizing the American postal system during his time as the head of the post office, or postmaster general. Benjamin also founded a city hospital and a school, which later became the University of Pennsylvania. He was also the first person to propose daylight saving time. But maybe we can forgive him for that one. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin died in 1790 at the age of 84. Wow, talk about an interesting life. Let's see what you remember about Benjamin Franklin. True or false? Benjamin Franklin was the only person to sign all four major documents involved in the creation of the United States of America. True. Fill in the blank. One of Franklin's famous aphorisms is, A blank saved is a penny earned. Penny. Benjamin Franklin was a diplomat to which European country? France. Great job, friends. Even though he lived a long time ago, Benjamin Franklin was and is one of the most famous founding fathers of the United States and was an important inventor and diplomat. The next time you see a $100 bill, take a closer look. You might just find Benjamin Franklin's picture looking back at you. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.